The latest Sacramento City Council meeting bringing hope to nearly a dozen organizations. But it also is helping people get their visas and green cards and uh, process the applications and petitions, petitions with Violence Against Women Act as well as temporary protected status and more for our immigrants and especially our refugees who are coming in. After $1 million were approved for release to the Fuel Network, which helps fund legal assistance and services for migrants and refugees in the city. There has been some anxiety around the funding. Um, even though we have a lot of confidence, you know, not, that, that may not have been true for everyone. And so we've just had to reassure them that like, there's a process that's playing out. Um, it is kind of slow, but it, it's happening. They also provide grants to organizations like Opening Doors to help cover costs for services that are not typically covered by other funding for crucial services like work permits, health care, or shelter. Even just you know one psychological evaluation um, can mean the difference between an entire family getting asylum or not. But since 2022, the organization has not received a grant that it was approved for. This is because an audit from the city of Sacramento halted the release of the money. All of the organizations that have also been waiting for the funds alongside us, uh, we cannot pay them. So, you know, everyone's been doing this work without that funding. And so that's, you know, that, that financial stability is there for all of the organizations in the network now. The promise of funding without a date for its release, potentially jeopardizing other services. It can be quite risky to do that because if that money doesn't come in, then that money is not you know, and we can provide the service, then that money is not replaceable. The Fuel Network is now waiting for the city of Sacramento to release those funds so they can prioritize paying off the grants for the organizations that were approved in 2022. In Sacramento, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. A total of $140,000 will be released to organizations.